how big is infinity plus one? We can explain um, this concept using Hilbert's Hotel. So we consider an infinite hotel with rooms that are numbered by the natural numbers. And so for any number, there is a room with that number on it. They're all currently full, but when a new person shows up, the um, hotel manager promises that there is room for them. There is still vacancy. So how is this possible? Well, the hotel manager is going to free up room one for this new person by telling everyone to move one room um, to the right. So we tell room one to go to two, two to go to three, three to go to four, etc. For any n, n goes to n plus one. So now we can see everyone who was currently in a room has a new room to go to. They know where they're going. And now room one is free. So we can add the new person can enter room one. We will call it countably infinite because we can sort of count the infinity even though we'll never get to the end. As we can see, by just adding one, we have this rule of still being able to fit it into the hotel, which means just by adding one to something that's already infinite, we're not actually changing its size. And you can notice that if any kind of finite number of people came along, if five people came along, we could do the same thing. Everyone move five along, right? So we can see that just by adding a finite number, we're not actually changing the size. Let's consider if infinitely many new people arrive at the hotel. Suppose there's countably infinite of them, so they're all coming in one by one, and the hotel manager is gonna tell each person what room they have, and we promise again that actually this is somehow possible. What we're going to do is move all the people who are already in the hotel, they're all gonna to move to even numbered rooms, right? So all they're gonna do is look at their room number and double it. So one is going to move to two, two will move to four, three will move to six, right? And you're just imagining N is gonna to move to two N. So now you can notice that actually all of the odd numbered rooms are free. So the first person who came to the desk, the hotel manager will tell them to go to one. And the next person they'll tell to go to three, so on. So we can see that even by, in a sense, doubling the number of people, we're actually still um, at the same size. We can still actually fit them in to this hotel. Okay, so now that we've talked about lots of um, sets that are the same size, that can fit into the hotel, maybe you're wondering, is there only one notion of size for infinity? Is infinite just one size? So, in fact, that is not the case, and there are some sets that will not be able to fit into Hilbert's Hotel. So that can be a challenge left to you to think about how that would work, and also how would you go about proving that there is no way to fit them into this hotel?